Zach with Wingard Wearables. You're one of 12 special people that's going to watch this video to the end. And today's video is about what's in my pants today. Check this out. It's the bigger back ripper. Woo! It's massive. It's 20% uh, bigger than our regular sized 16-inch uh, back rippers. And because it is scaled dimensionally, 20% larger in size, it's actually much heavier. Um, these are totaling about 13 ounces in weight. Uh, they definitely have more head weight. The heads are about eh, almost seven and a half ounces. So, um, you know, a typical full size back ripper is close to seven and a half ounces. So, just the head alone is the weight of one of our typical uh, tomahawks. Now, um, this is spoken for. Uh, we only made two of these in this batch. Uh, both customers wanted them foul branded and charred black, so a unique uh, appearance. Um, but, uh, you know, the bigger back ripper, there's a story behind it. Uh, we were, when we started in 2018, we were going to make back rippers in our full 16 inch long size. Uh, and at the time, I had this uh, day job that had me in this conference. Uh, center and there was an individual sitting next to me. It was like a big conference room, dozens of people, you know, watching public speakers. And, you know, I'm from the South. I'm raised to be friendly and stuff, uh, you know, polite Southerner. So I chatted with this person in the downtime. And it turned out he was uh, a from a friendly uh, foreign force in the special forces. And we went out and grabbed some lunch and on our way back, I asked him, you know, hey, do you guys do anything with, like, blades? And he said, yeah, he was kind of vague on some of the stuff, but he said, yeah, our, our unit's um, ceremonial symbolic weapon is a traditional spiked tomahawk. Now, I had not mentioned Wingard wearables or that I had a back river tomahawk in my pants at all. He just said this, and I thought, gee, maybe I should show him the back ripper tomahawk, you know. So I did, and they ordered four of these uh, Tomahawks. It was really great. It was back in uh, December 2018. That was definitely at the time our biggest customer order ever. But one of the Tomahawks he wanted bigger um, because it was going to a Royal Sergeant Major, the boss man, uh, who was also a First Nations uh, Native American. So uh, he got the bigger backer for the first one we ever made. Um, they wanted a uh, blood red handle without foul branding. Uh, so I made those um, tomahawks and the bigger back ripper. And one of the details that's a little bit different is uh, there's a flare out on the handle on this side. And that's so when you wear this inside your waistband, um, this little bulge out contours to uh, your leg. Like your quadriceps kind of go in a little bit on your leg. And that handle flare out there means this long handle can go along your leg and move with your body all the much better. And you need that because it's a little bit longer than a regular size back rippers. Now, uh, I am five foot ten when I wake up in the morning. I know you guys probably thought I was taller, right? But we purposely film to make me look as tall, thin, and handsome as possible. So the camera is angled a little bit lower. But as a five, huh? Yeah, it is a tough job. My wife uh, has a hard job to make me look tall, thin, and handsome. Um, so, you know, it's getting kind of late in the day. I'm probably just below 5'10". I'm probably 5'9 now. Um, but this does wear inside the waistband. Even on my short 5'10 frame, pretty comfortably. I can bend deeply at the waist. No problem. I can do kicks and runs and stuff like that. I'm not going to do a like sideways karate kick on camera because YouTube is forever and that will just look embarrassing. Okay. But you can't. Um, the only bit of comfort issue I had is if I plop too carelessly into a butt cupping car seat, I could have the base of the handle touch my calf, the top of my calf. Uh, but that really did not happen often. Still, I do find this size to be rather large for everyday carry for myself. That's my personal taste. But if you're, you know, a tall man, you know, over six feet, and you want the biggest back ripper we make, uh, we will not be offering this uh, for order. It's a special order. So contact us and email. Um, you know, we've gotten 
burned before on some custom requests, so now we are requiring two-thirds payment up front. And uh, as of today, these things are 435 USD, uh, comes with carry system and free U.S. shipping. So it's about $100 more than our uh, standard size backrippers, but uh, they take a lot more work to do because... Well, we're optimized to make the standard size backrippers, and these take a lot more attention to detail. Uh, but still, they're very awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, we made a second backripper because this friendly foreign unit wanted a second backripper for a change in command ceremony. And they also wanted um, a special carry system for it a leather loop, and their another symbolic weapon uh, for their unit, a red arrowhead. And so I actually contacted an artist. Um, let me see if I got this right. Yeah, uh, Shumash Native American artist, um, Steve Saffold, and he hand-napped this uh, red ob or mahogany obsidian arrowhead. And I don't know if it's going to show up in the camera, but there's natural black in the mahogany. And on that barb, it is two complete barbs, but on the barb on the edge there is a fleck of black mahogany on there. So from a distance, it may look like it's asymmetric or we buggered up the uh, barb. No, it's all there. It looks great. Um, so the idea behind the command ceremony was they would, have, they would wear the tomahawks outside the waistband and one... Uh, would draw the tomahawk and present it to the other. It's sort of like handing the sword off to a, one, from one commanding officer to another. Uh, unfortunately for us, um, you know, we went to the trouble of making this at great uh, difficulty and time. Uh, COVID hit, and hey, they're a repeat customer, and they're a government customer. How more reliable can you get than taxpayer funding? I mean, governments spend taxpayer money like crazy, right? Yet, the ceremony wasn't going to happen, so we were left with, uh, you know, these custom leather scabbard arrowhead things and, and a bigger back ripper with no customer. Uh, so that was pretty disappointing. Uh, we've been burned on some other custom requests, too. But, so that's now why we do the two-thirds order up front. Obviously, if we had a government customer, again, they're not going to pay that because they're the government. They don't do prepay stuff. Um, but for us individuals, you know, if you're interested in one of these, send us an email and we can get this made. Now, the question I have, I had, was what's the maximum length of something you can wear inside your waistband, right? From your belt line down to your knee joint. I was very curious about that. And like any reasonable man, I thought, why not? carry a mace in my pants. Not chemical spray mace, but you know, like the medieval mace. So I went out and I bought a medieval bronze knobbed mace head from Todd Stuff. I've linked to his YouTube channel before. His YouTube channel is enormous compared to our tiny channel because we only got 12 special people watching our videos. Share our video, by the way. Um, so yeah, I had this reasonable idea of like, hey, I'm going to get a mace made and I'm going to make it as long as possible and see what I can get away with. And I did. Now, the handle I'm showing here is a shorter 16-inch handle. But when I first made this thing, the handle was 22 inches long. Uh, this is a bronze mace head by Todd Stuff. It weighs just over 7 ounces. It's based on uh, medieval originals from like the 10th to the like 13th century maybe. So 7 ounces of bronze is actually really light and fast um, on a wooden handle. Um, but I made that with a 22 inch long handle and I was able to wear that comfortably, even though I'm a five foot 10 inside my pants. Uh, I did require a leather pad here because these knobs here are not sharp, but when they're pressed up against your love handle, they don't feel that fun. But a leather pad redistributed the contact pressure of these knobs so that I could wear it. And so I wore that for about a week. Uh, I also found that there was a potential hazard of just plopping into a bucket cupping car seat too quickly because when it had 22 inches in length and it was in your pants, it could definitely jam pretty hard against you in certain motions. So 22 inches is probably the practical limit for a 5 foot 10 guy, and I would definitely go shorter. And that's why our bigger back rippers at 19 inches are manageable, especially compared to a 22 inch long mace. Um, 
Speaking of this order, Todd sent me just the mace heads. I made the handles myself. Uh, I've discarded the 22 inch long handle because it was uh, impractical. This one's one I made from uh, 16 inches. But um, when he got this into me, it was a, like a couple of weeks wait time to get it through customs. It was listed as a uh, napkin ring holder, right? So imagine it was gleamy goldy bronze with a through hole and that's how he shipped it to us. Napkin ring holder. That was pretty clever. If you put mace on there, I assume they would just, you know, look at it as a weapon or a chemical spray or be confused and they would just confiscate it because they're not fun. Um, but I do like this mace a lot. It's, it's really cool. I added my own patina to it. See that? Really neat. Not exactly practical for everyday carry. Um, I did pull it on some guys at work that I knew had the sense of humor about it. And yeah, they, they really were blown away. No one's expecting a 22 inch long mace to come out of your pants. Um, but you know, unfortunately compared to a tomahawk, a mace has almost no practical utility purpose. Like even this bigger back ripper tomahawk, I can use it to cut open boxes or hook and drag things over to me, that sort of thing. Um, and of course in combatives, both of these are, are pretty devastating, but, um, you know, the ability to hook and concentrated chops and that sort of thing. This is definitely better suited for the modern everyday carry environment. But this is also a historic design and just really badass. So these are really cool. Um, so yeah, I just ordered the mace head and made the handles myself. He does make handles for them too, but that just makes it more expensive on shipping and I thought his handle designs were a little bit plain for my taste, so I wanted to personalize my own. Um, anyway, I think that's about it for today. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else we should add. Do you think we missed anything? How long is this video? That's a shorter one for us. Okay, she said 12 minutes. You guys know what time it is because you're going to see it on the readout. All right, you're one of 12 special people that sat through this video to the end. Remember to share it with a friend and be edgy.